This video introduces how matrix representations of linear transformations with respect to different bases defy a concept in linear algebra similarity. First, if we want to find a matrix representation for linear transformation using standard bases, we can first let a linear transformation from Rn to Rm as L and then the matrix A is a matrix representation for L if Lx equals to A times x, where x is a vector in Rn. In order to find A, we need to use a standard basis, right? And the standard basis consists of all unit vectors, E1, E2 to En. And A is constructed by taking LE1 as the first column of A, LE2 as the second column of A, and so on and so forth. So once you find A, it is the matrix representation of the linear transformation L with respect to E, the standard basis. What if we have another basis in Rn? Let's say U equals to a set of vectors U1, U2 to Un. We want to find a matrix representation for L using this basis. Maybe first we can think that if I use LE1, LE2, LEN to find A, then I can do that in order to find B. It takes LU1, LU2, LUN, right? To find B as a matrix representation for the same linear transformation but with the different basis then because LU1 is the same as AU1, then I can use matrix representation A instead of L because again, I'm trying to form a matrix. Then combine AU1, AU2, AUN, I would get A times U where U is a matrix that is formed by U1, U2 to UN. But then if you multiply these two matrices B times X and AU times X, you get a vector, but the vector is still in the same standard coordinate system, which is in the coordinate system where you use the standard basis as the basis for the coordinate system. You still live in the same coordinate system. That means you need to go to, uh, you need to move to the different coordinate system using the basis U. That means you need to convert all the coordinates using the transition matrix and the transition matrix from the standard basis to the new basis U is U inversed. And once you have the transition matrix, you just need to multiply the transition matrix on the left of A times U in order to define B as a matrix representation for the same linear transformation L, but with respect to U, a new basis. Again, B equals to U inverse times A, which is the matrix representation with respect to the standard basis and times U. Well, this leads us to um, similarity, which is a concept in linear algebra and it's saying that if A and B are the two squaring matrices and B is defined or is said to be similar to A if there exists a non-singular matrix S such that B equals to S inverse times A times S. Okay. A and B are similar if there exists a non-singular matrix S, such that is satisfying this equation. You can say B is similar to A or A is similar to B. Either way. All right. Well, as you can see, the uh, relation between similarity and this basis, right? As you have other matrix standard matrix and then you forming a matrix lin matrix representation of the same linear transformation using different set of vectors different bases then you form a linear a matrix representations using 
u inverse a and u. Okay. In this case, a and b are similar because there exists a um, non-singular matrix u such that b equals to u inverse time a times u. So this is the relation between linear transformations and its matrix representations with similarity. Okay. All right, let's look at an example. If you let L be a linear transformation from R3 to R3, and it's described in this way, if you apply a vector in R3 onto L, then you get 4x1 plus 7x2 plus 5x3 as the first coordinate, 3x2 as the second coordinate, and 6x2 plus 2x3 as the third coordinate. And you want to find a matrix A such that Lx equals to A times x using First, I can just use a standard basis, E1, E2 to EN, right? If I apply E1 onto L, I get 4, 1, 0, 0. Uh, LE2 will be 7, 3, 6, and LE3 will be 5, 0, and 2. And from these calculations, I came up with my matrix A. It's a matrix representation for this linear transformation with respect to the standard basis. Okay, we use standard basis here. And the qu next question is if you consider the set of the three vectors, and these three vectors here form a basis of R3, then can you find the matrix B such that B is a matrix representation for L with respect to this new basis? We know. We can find B using B inverse times A times V, right? V is a non-singular matrix because these three vectors here form a basis so that if you use these three vectors, V1, V2, and V3 form a matrix V. V is non-singular. Um, and then B will be just V inverse times A times V. And you can do the calculations. You can find V inverse multiply by A and multiply by V to find B as a matrix representations for L with respect to the new basis V. And as a result, A and B are similar. Again, this video introduces the idea of how you can use how you can find different linear transformations, uh, different matrix representation for the same linear transformation with respect to different bases. And the two matrix, the two matrices that you found are similar by the definitions of similarity.